Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. A few days ago I did a video where I primarily gushed over some of the brand new character models which have arrived in patch 7.3.5 and also discuss the fact that I think some more are coming when Battle for Azeroth arrives later this year and when I'm a looking at you. And that got me a thinking and I thought why don't we, consider I've been doing a lot of classic versus current WoW stuff, why don't we compare and contrast then and now about how some of the faction leaders that were around in vanilla that still exist in the current version of the game look compared to their old counterparts. So I've taken four members of the Horde and four members of the Alliance and we're going to see how they used to look compared with how they are right now. And I may stick in a couple of funsies for shits and giggles. So without further ado, numero uno. He was once known as the Boy King, but now all the muscles have gone to all the correct areas and he has developed himself into a Manduin. Yeah, Anduin Rin, King of Stormwind, head of the Alliance, in his current guise on the live servers for Legion, although I do believe he is getting an updated model for Battle for Azeroth. And this character has literally grown the most out of any other character. Because if we go to Classic WoW, this... <laughs> the model which is just typical boy runt in Stormwind used to be Anduin. The only distinguishing factor is that he had that lovely little wand in his hand. Just look at the cutesy little pie. Now we are going back to 2004 here and the idea of unique character models for specific people seemed to be a little bit more selective <laughs> in those days. And of course, now that he's changed and developed, is all well and good. But if you are upset that this model has vanished, simply walk around Stormwind and whichever kid you bump into, chances are it's going to look exactly like this. Now, one of the character models which I was most taken with in the new changes in 7.3.5 was that of Bane Bloodhoof. He just looks like such a freaking badass with his new look. And I've just, well, I, I've said all the words I need to say in the previous video. Go watch that if you want to hear me just literally gush like a teenage girl at a Japanese boy band concert. But let's go back to classic. And he wasn't even in Thundermuff uh, in those days. No, you had to go to Bloodhoof Village if you were to bump into Bane Bloodhoof. And look at the difference. The significant difference between the characters here. The only thing of any sort of familiarity, and I am clutching at the clutchiest of straws here, is you can just see a few feathers... I think they're feathered earrings, or it could be part of the headdress. Let's have a look. It's part of the headdress. The feathers in the headdress. That is the only sort of link <laughs> that we have to the current model today. And of course, in this one, he's actually holding a spear as opposed to the two massive totems which he has on his back. Uh, and I think he's also holding a... A weapon too. So yeah, what an absolutely significant difference. And this is a character again that has undergone one hell of a transformation. Now let's call a spade a spade here, folks. All right, Mechatork and the Gnomes in the lifespan of World of Warcraft have had next to no love whatsoever. Poor bastards. What did they ever do? In actual fact, the only time I can remember the Gnomes had anything to do in WoW was when we took back Gnome Regan. And that is it. Which is such a shame, because his new character model is really cool. Now, I'd love to see something done properly with the gnomes. Oi, leave off the gnome hate. But the model that he has now, <laughs> compared to the model that he used to have in Classic, I suppose he's just got to be grateful for that. Poor little guy, stuck in Ironforge on the top of a... I don't even know what I would call it. It's just something... <laughs> With spinning cogs around the side. It's the only way that I can particularly describe it. With his little spinning cog shield. And yes, that is a spanner. I'll show you a side view in a sec. Yes, that is a spanner. 
he's holding in his hand. One thing that I did used to love about the classic version of Mecha Talk, though, was the goggles. When I saw these goggles for the very first time in WoW, I was smitten. And I was desperate to get me some of these goggles. So I actually took up engineering on one of my characters when I found out that you could actually craft goggles. And the goggles that you crafted are actually some of the best that you could do. But I love the spanner, but um, yeah. <laughs> Thank heaven for small mercies in this upgrade that he's got in the current version of the game. He went from badass to hippie, and although he is wearing some of the Doomhammer armor again, still has a penchant for wearing anal beads around his neck. Yes, although he might not be a faction leader now, he was in the past, so he does qualify, because it also helps for the next one. It's Thrall. But classic Thrall, this guy was the ultimate badass. And when I started playing the World of Warcraft back in 2007, even though I rolled an undead warlock to start with, when I came across to Kalimdor, and met Thrall for the first time and realised what he was like as a wall chief, I was totally in. I absolutely loved him as a character, and he was definitely a war chief that I wanted to follow. Don't know why they wrote the character how they did, but whatever. You know, some people obviously like it. It's a turn that I personally didn't like. But he was complete badass back in classic, wearing the Doom Hammer armor. Of course, wielding Doom Hammer like a boss as well. And yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, from a, an aesthetic side, not as crisp as we have it now, but this is the thrall that I'd like to remember, because to me, this is always going to be bestest thrall. And from one hippie to another, I mean, from one ex-faction leader to another ex-faction leader. I remember when I did the hippie joke about Magni in the last video, and I had a couple of people, just a couple, say, Oh, Az, just because somebody wants to save Azeroth, does that automatically mean they're a hippie now? Well, the answer to that question, I suppose, is there. Uh, yep. Um, yeah, well, I got to confess, uh, I do rather like Magni, though, but I think I think they're trying to make sure that not everyone hates just Thrall. There's somebody else to get bored with too. Um, but Magni, of course, looks really cool in his crystalline form. But he used to be the head of the dwarves, of course, back in Ironforge. And so in Classic, you'll find Magni not looking like a cubic zirconia. Uh, no, he actually is flesh, blood, has his armors, has his ginger beard, uh, and all that kind of stuff, and looks rather cool. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I know too much about Magni, because I don't. Because uh, back in these days, I was Horde. I wasn't even Alliance. I didn't even convert to Alliance. Convert. Jesus Christ, as if it was some sort of religious moment. I didn't convert to the Alliance until the end of 2010, maybe 2011. Whenever the Deathwing patch was, anyway, in Cataclysm, that's when I changed over my allegiance from one faction to other. Uh, yeah, but he still looks pretty neat. I like the shoulders. I really like these shoulders on there. But classic version of Magni versus current version of the Cubic Zirconia. Cool story that he has gone through, though. I must confess to that. Well, it's been a sausage fest so far, so let's break that up. And if you're going to break up the sausage fest, you might as well do it with one of the greatest females the World of Warcraft has. I said one of because I don't want Jaina Proudmoore to get upset in case she watches this video, because she's my bae. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, who was the very first faction leader that I pledged my, well, undeadness to. I was going to say pledged my life to, but as an undead warlock, I didn't have a life. I was dead. Never mind. She looks awesome now, but back in those days, she still looked awesome. This was a really cool look for uh, this character at the time. And I know she's evolved and looks absolutely incredible now. But here, she changed her weapon. She'd have a bow like she's got in this picture. And then when we go to the side view, she'll actually be holding a dagger or have a sword uh, by her side as well. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong here, because I am having to really rack my memory. But when the Banshees came to do the song she would actually turn into her banshee form when they did that. Am I correct? I'm pretty sure she did that. If I've imagined it, hell, that's a pretty good imagination to have. But it's still a really cool look. It's a really nice set of armour that she has. Lots of differences, as you can see, though. Her eyebrows are clearly white and not blonde. Her skin colour is fleshy and not 
kind of like necratic like it is now uh sort of bluish uh bluish greenish that it is now uh so yeah lots of cool changes that she's undergone but yeah absolutely one of the best females arguably the best we'll leave that debate to another time world of warcraft ever produced so we're gonna go now from badass to just plain bad wow no uh Durande, if you watch my recent videos i have not gelled with at all in legion uh as a character that is i just haven't enjoyed her i don't think she's a particularly nice person but she has undergone massive changes look at her outfit now of course but look at back then oh my lord yeah she has undergone a significant change number one dyed her hair uh she got blue hair back in classic she's got green hair now and also i mean we could sort of talk about the skin color changes slightly but that's just by the by but i think you know hair color choice is quite interesting because when you're changing the character models pretty much all of them have retained their original aesthetic some sort of their original aesthetic but Tyrande just got a complete reworking from top to bottom. Uh, you know, the eyes now are much more blue and glowy and stuff like that. And here she just has this, you know, rather um, flattering and nice flowing dress. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit basic and yeah, it's a little bit like a nightgown, but works for me. Uh, but yeah, very interesting changes as a character model that she's gone through. I make absolutely no excuses for leaving the best to last because i think it's obvious by now i've got a serious man crush on the new character model for sarfang i think it just looks fucking amazing uh, i gushed all over it when i did my faction character model update video and it hasn't relented i just think this is one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in wow and rather interestingly, is his classic model was pretty darn cool as well. And I'm looking at it uh, as a uh, from a from a classic WoW perspective. Uh, not a lot of characters looked really really unique uh, in aesthetic, but Sarfine did. Valley of Heroes, and he has this you know the unbelievable armor. I think this is now the heirloom shoulders, pretty much the heirloom shoulders. And of course, very distinctive face mask, but even his weapon as well was just complete badass. And as one of the very first characters you had come across when you walked through the main gates of Orgrimmar, this was one hell of a sight to behold. So yeah, Sarfang not only has an incredible model now as he takes over as leader of the Orky Poozies, uh, but even back then, this guy was just nothing but complete and utter badass. Should I just propose to him? Should I just buy a ring? Yeah? All right, fair enough. Right, I'm off to Beaver Brooks or ever to get something. Now I said I might chuck in a couple of little extras at the end, so here we go. This is Vol'jin on Classic WoW, uh, chilling out of course with Thrall in his home. And uh, yeah, look at the shoulders. I like the little uh, troll shoulder pads that he's got on there, but very different character model than he's got right now of course, because he's undergone quite a bit of a change. And of course on the live servers, uh, this is Vol'jin. Doesn't say a lot. But unfortunately for him, still has about as much use in the game as he used to. Right, and finally... <laughs> oh my god, all the people who love Vol'jin out there are going to be like, Oh, ass, how could you? That was so cruel. Yeah, get over it. Uh, and then finally, stood next to the boy King Anduin on his left-hand side. Our right is no other than one Bolvar Fordragon, who of course is the current Lich King in the game since Arthas has been defeated. So going back to classic WoW, we're going to see Bolvar before Alex Straza spat far all over him. And then he decided to stick the helmet on. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the faction leaders, how they've evolved from classic to their current iterations of the game. And I think... To be honest with you, that was pretty damn cool. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.